In this video, you'll learn how to add the Chart.js DX Circular Gauge and DX Linear Gauge widgets to a web page. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, Chart.js, Globalize, and jQuery. I've also referenced the JavaScript file where I'm going to set configuration options for the DX Circular Gauge and DX Linear Gauge. Like with any widget from the Chart.js library, the DX Circular Gauge and DX Linear Gauge can be added using the jQuery, Knockout, or AngularJS approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach and adding the DX Circular Gauge and DX Linear Gauge widgets using the DX Circular Gauge and DX Linear Gauge plugins. First of all, let's define a gauge scale and set its start and end values plus major and minor tick intervals. In addition, let's add a couple of ranges to the gauge's range container. Now, let's take a look at our gauge. Let's add value indicators to the gauge. I'll add a needle to indicate the measured value and two markers to indicate subvalues. And here is the result. Let's replace the needle by a range bar and the triangle markers by text clouds. Now I'll change the gauge's geometry and the start and end angles. You can configure any circular gauge by setting the start and end angles. Let's add the DX Linear Gauge widget. To configure the DX Linear Gauge widget, I'll use the same options as the ones that I specified for the DX Circular Gauge widget. Let's see what our linear gauge looks like. Okay, let's rotate the widget to make it vertical. To do this, we can leave the specified options as is and set the orientation option. As you can see, the linear gauge is now vertical. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.